Here's five shortcuts that I wish I knew when I first started making music. Hopefully this saves you guys a bunch of time. I'm going to go through each shortcut one by one, tell you how to use it, and what situations you're going to typically use that shortcut in. All right, let's get straight into it. So for the first shortcut, let's say that we just finished this melody. We had a good amount of sounds and we haven't added any effects yet. What we're going to do is go to the channel rack. You can press this button up here. It's kind of like a checklist, it looks like, or you can press F6. And then what you're going to do is you see these little rectangles on the right side of all the sounds that you have in here. Um, you're going to left click and drag on the ones that you want to put on the mixer track. So left click and drag for the ones that you want on the mixer track. And then we go to the mixer track and you can either click the button on the right of the channel rack button or you can press F9. And then you're gonna click on any of these mixer tracks wherever you want them to start. You know what I'm saying? Wherever you want them to start. And you're gonna do Control, Shift, and L, and boom. As we can see, I clicked on 10 when I selected it and I did the command and it assigned each sound to mixer track 10 and above. So that is a super fast way to just get started on your mixing. I wish I knew that when I was first starting, it would have saved me so much time instead of individually spinning these little sliders over here to the correct number, you know what I'm saying? All right, so this next one is kind of a three in one shortcut combo, but I wish I knew this when I first began, bro. All right, let's say we have a pattern or a chord or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And we want to uh, duplicate it. We want to copy it over. So to do that, Instead of doing control C, control V, and it pastes on top of the notes, you're going to do control A to select it all, control C to copy, and control B to paste. It'll paste it not on top of what you've already created. Um, it just makes it a lot easier. So again, control A for all, control C to copy, and then control B to bounce that hoe over to another, I don't know. Like, what does the B stand for? Let's go back, now let's go back to the mixer for this one. Shortcut number three. Let's say that we really, really, really liked this uh, effect chain that we had right here. We had this EQ and we had some reverb and we want it on a different sound. I'm gonna show you multiple things that you can do. So you can right click on the mixer track, boom, go to file, and then go to save mixer track state as, Name it whatever you want, describe it. You can name it whatever you want. As you can see, I have a bunch of different stuff named whatever. Um, and then basically it'll make it to where you, whenever you right click on a mixer track and go to file, you'll be able to find it in this preset list. You know what I'm saying? So let's save it as something at like four bit, I don't know. And then uh, we want those effects on this sound over here. So we go to the mixer channel that we want the effects on. Then we go to file and we go to for vid and then it loads those two effects exactly how we had them the exact same presets even the mix knobs on the mixer are changed to exactly how they were so i i think this is great but here's the thing though there's a faster way to do it the way i just showed you is nice if you want effects from a different project that you've worked on previously where it's like oh how i did the effects on this melody was so hard i know it would sound good on this or whatever the case is right but this this way i'm about to show you right here is a faster way to do it um, in the same project so what you would do is you right click on the mixer track that has the effects that you want to copy over to another mixer track you're going to right click it go to file hover over save mixer track state as and then you're going to left click and drag it left click hold down and drag on the button you could still see with the you could still see the button it says save mixer track state as i haven't let go of left click we drag it to the one we want to put the effects on boom it's also there that's crazy and here's a bonus i'm only supposed to do five but i really fuck with you so if you have your effects in an order where you don't like how it sounds maybe you want this eq under the delay you want the delay part to be eq or some shit. i don't know you just want to change the order of the effects on your mixer i used to left click on this drop down arrow and then click move up or down but not long ago i found out that you can scroll wheel while hovering over the one that you want to move and you just scroll wheel in the direction that you want it to move. So I'm scrolling down now and now I'm scrolling up. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Wish I knew. All right, so now here's one that I bet you didn't know. I bet you didn't know this one. If you knew this one, comment down below. I'm gonna have to give you a cookie. Say you wanted to make an automation on whatever, maybe the volume, maybe you want a sound to cut out at a certain part. This is the sound that we're working with right here. Say we wanted this sound to cut out at a certain point. 
go to whatever you want to automate it. This could be panning, it can be volume, it could be the mix, uh, the mixer level of an effect that you have on it. It can be virtually anything. It could be something that you want to change throughout the track. That's what an automation clip is going to control. You're going to be able to change some variables or some aspect of whatever you create an automation clip for. So for this sound, we're going to go to the volume slider for just the specific sound that we have down here selected. You don't have to select it. Just go to the mixer track it's assigned to. Go to the mixer knob if you wanted to um, automate this. And what you're going to do is A, press the A key for alpha. Right click, boom, it makes an automation clip. So now I can control the volume from wherever. Usually you would have to right click on whatever and create the automation clip. But if you wanna be faster, just a little faster, press A and create an automation clip for whatever. It could be for the panning here. It could be for the master volume. Uh, it could be for this mixer level of the sound shifter. It, it, I, anything I press A and right click on is basically making an automation clip. And I can just change it, boom, 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 and then boom. Now the now the sound is cutting out right here. All right, here's shortcut number five. Last but not least, if we wanted to render out this whole melody that we just finished, all we have to do is press R to arm this recording button. And if when you pressed R, it made a noise or it didn't do anything, then you need to turn this button off right here. Control T, or you can go up to the top and click this button. Make sure it's grayed out. It's the piano board with a NPC shit on the left. Make sure that's off. Um, press R, arm the recording at the top, it should be red. And then arm the master by clicking on this gray dot. Left click, boom, it should be red. And then after you arm the master, you can do Alt R, boom. If you're on a Mac, it's gonna be option. And what this is going to do is it's going to render out the whole sample under this section in your project. Make sure you have song mode selected if you want the whole playlist to be uh, rendered out. Um, do pattern if you want just one pattern, it's up to you, but I'm gonna do song for this instance. And it's going to render out this whole melody for you and then put it in the same project. So that way you could drag that in, manipulate it on its own. It's basically, it's beneficial so that way you have everything in one consolidated file that you can manipulate all at once instead of having to tweak and change each sound that you have in your melody or beat or whatever you're making individually. So boom, once it's done rendering, you're gonna have to go to this waveform button right here. It's in between a piano and a, I don't know, that looks like a fucking dog bone or a dumbbell, I don't know. Anyways, drag the bottom one in there all the way onto the playlist, boom. Now you have it, you have your whole melody consolidated into one file. If you just wanted to export it outside of the project onto your computer, all you have to do is do Control R, I think that's Command on Mac, Control R to export it outside of the project onto your computer as a WAV file, and then Control Shift R to export it onto your computer as an MP3. All in all, I'm not gonna lie, these shortcuts, if I knew these when I first started producing, would probably have saved me hundreds of hours. Hopefully I didn't go too fast for y'all. Hopefully you guys learned something. Let me know if you guys want more videos like this, or if you guys want anything specific. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Instagram, message me there, and I'll answer you if you have any questions. Or if you just wanna chat and chop it up. If we can get this video to 300 likes, I'll make a free sample kit of a few samples, give it out to a few lucky commenters. And since I'm feeling mad generous, the person with the funniest or best comments, the one with the most upvotes, will get a free collab with me that I will send out for placements in the industry. But yeah, love y'all. I will be streaming soon. I know I say that all the time, but I love y'all. I'm gonna catch y'all soon. And hopefully I just saved y'all some time. The least you could do is hit that subscribe button and like the video and send it to your homie that's terrible at producing. No. <laughs> All right, y'all, love y'all.